Uh, I work uh, as an Anglican minister uh, in a church in Harrington Park, which is in the southwest of Sydney. And uh, in what little spare time I have, I uh, write and record and perform Christian music, normally to, to, to young people, to children, uh, but in other contexts as well. Um, so what makes something Christian music uh, is, is really hard for me uh, to say. So what I typically do is I, I start from its function, right? So Christians uh, playing music, I think is done ultimately so that they can sing. Why do they sing? Well, the Bible says that we sing Firstly, uh, to praise God, it's a natural expression for those who uh, know God as Father, to praise Him, and uh, singing is a powerful medium through which praise can happen. But secondly, and this is, uh, I think, very important and is often neglected, to teach one another. It's a teaching ministry. Uh, the New Testament basically says that. We let the Word of Christ dwell among us, uh, plural, richly, uh, as we teach and admonish one another in all wisdom as we sing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs. So I think Christian music is hard to define, but if you start with its function in the Bible, then you've got to say it's music uh, for singing, singing and music, there's an overlap, but it's for singing that we can praise God and teach one another uh, in order to let the gospel dwell more richly uh, among us. That's my sort of take on Christian music.